Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about pollution. As we know the needs of the primitive man was limited, hence it was very easy to maintain or manage the balance with the ecosystem and our environment. But when the uh, rate of uh, population increases and due to the uh, after the civilization industrialization the need of human being will uh, increases and due to this uh, they over exploit the natural resources the degradation of the natural resources occur and due to all these reasons the main hazards related to our environment cause that which is called as the pollution and it is uh, the main hazard with disaster of the environment so when we talk about pollution pollution means making the environment impure by man's activity is called as the pollution or we can say if undesirable and unwanted components added to the environment it is called as the environmental pollution and in this environmental pollution the physical characteristics of the environment chemical as well as biological properties of environment are degraded so all these are the definition related to environmental pollution in simplest way we can say that making the environment impure by human beings activity or the due to the natural reasons if our environmental become and the, our the quality of environmental become degraded it is called as the environmental pollution now there are some factors which are responsible for making the environment pollute that particular factors are called as the pollutants so the foreign particles the foreign matters which are added to the air water land the factors are called as the pollutant so these are the responsible for the making the environment pollute now kinds of pollution when we talk about different types of pollution it can be divided into different types for example air pollution water pollution then uh, soil pollution or we can say land pollution then noise pollution and radioactive pollution so all these are the main types of the related to pollution air water soil noise radioactive pollution first we will discuss about air pollution as we know that air pollution is related to pollution of the air if as uh, the pure air contains 78% of nitrogen 21% of oxygen 0.03% of carbon dioxide uh, Besides this, there is uh, other gases as well as inert gases are present, water vapor are present into the pure air. But if some foreign gases, foreign particles are added to the atmosphere, they degrade the quality of air and it is called as the air pollution. In simplest way, we can say if the physical, chemical and biological characteristics of air will change, it will be called as the air pollution. Now what are the causes of air pollution, what are the reasons of air pollution? The reasons of air pollution can be divided into again two types. First we can say natural causes of air pollution and second is man-made causes of air pollution. Natural causes of air pollution if air pollution occur due to the natural reasons it occur naturally in the environment it is called as the natural air pollution the main reasons for natural air pollution are dust particles due to the smoke then due to the forest fire it will release some harmful gases then due to the pollen grains and due to the volcanic eruptions so all these are the main causes of natural air pollution dust particles then smoke 
due to the forest fire it uh, release some harmful gases and due to the pollen grains which release into the uh, some part they spread into the particular season they can cause the air pollution they pollute the air and due to the volcanic eruption some harmful gases are released into the environment so all these are the natural reasons for the air pollution then we will talk about main main reasons for the air pollution first is burning of anything burning of uh, fossil fuel and burning is a process which can release some uh, gases which are uh, not good for our environment then second in mining process very small particulate matter are released into the environment and they degrade the quality of atmosphere so first burning process second mining process third spray of chemical fertilizers spray of chemical fertilizers as well as uh, pesticides it will release some harmful gases into the environment and it is the main cause of air pollution then we can say waste and its uh, improper disposal waste material they after some time they smell bad and some harmful gases are released from them as well as if improper disposal occur into their particular thing this also can cause the pollution for example if we are using the burning process for disposal the waste product if there are some waste are there and we want to burn it we are incineration process thermal process if we are using so in thermal process some ashes will be released which will degrade the land if we are using burning process some gases will be released which can cause air pollution so if there is improper so waste management is there it can cause the air pollution then sometimes due to the carelessness of the human beings so some tragedies occur for example bhopal gas tragedy in which mig gas was released methyl isocyanate was released and it was the main cause of air pollution so sometimes due to the accidents uh, air pollution can occur then due to the some uh, instruments like uh, ac and refrigerator some harmful gases like uh, we can say cfc chlorofluorocarbon ozone gas so all gases are released into the atmosphere which can cause the air pollution scale of uh, beside this we can say that deforestation is also the main cause of the air pollution because uh, the forests are the main source which consume the greenhouse gas uh, carbon dioxide gas and they release oxygen gas so deforestation is also the main uh, reason for air pollution so all these are the main mid causes related to air pollution burning process mining process spray of chemical chemical fertilizers and for, uh, pesticides then waste and its improper uh, uh, disposal methods then we can say the ex due to the accidents by the crackers by the some instruments like in ac and freeze they release some harmful gases so all these are due to the deforestation due to the automobile so all these are the main reasons for the air pollution now uh, in uh, we talk about air pollutant that there are some factors which can pollute the environment so these factors are called as the air pollutants these are the responsible for air pollution so according to their origin or according to their physical state according to their size they can be defined into different categories so now we will talk about air pollutants so air pollutants are those factors which are responsible for making the environment impure so uh, now the classification of the air pollutants on the basis of physical state air pollutants can be divided into two types first is gaseous air pollutants and second is particulate particulate air pollutants so on the basis of physical state these can be divided into two types gaseous air pollutants as well as particulate air pollutants when we talk about gaseous air pollutants means if 
the pollutants the factors are present into the gaseous form these are called as the gaseous air pollutants for example sulfur dioxide then carbon dioxide carbon monoxide all are the examples of gaseous air pollutants and they are then second is particulate air pollutants if the uh, air pollutants the if the air pollutants cannot travel long distance and they present into the atmosphere that are called as the particulate and the different particles are present which are which have different size that are called as the particulate air pollutants these particulate air pollutants can be divided into two types tspm total suspended particulate matter and second is settleable particulate matter settleable particulate matter so tspm total suspended particulate matter and second is settleable particulate matter total suspended particulate matter the particles are uh, have the size below than 10 mu that foreign particles are called as tspm and they are easily travel into the atmosphere because their size is very small second is settleable particulate matter they have uh, their size is uh, uh, above than uh, 10 mu so they settle into the on the uh, a particular surface and then they pollute the atmosphere so all these are the types of particulate air pollutants then other the classification of the air pollutants is and um, is on the basis of their origin if we can say then on the basis of the sources and the origin these can be divided into two types primary pollutants primary pollutants and secondary pollutants primary pollutants and secondary pollutants which are directly emitted from the source that particular type of pollutants are called as the primary pollutants those pollutants which directly emitted from the source and the example of primary pollutants are sulfur dioxide carbon dioxide carbon monoxide nitrogen oxide so all these are the example of primary pollutants second when the pollutants which are made up from the combination of the primary pollutants if a particular pollutant which are made from the reaction of the primary pollutant which are the product of the primary pollution pollutants that particular pollutants are called as the secondary air pollutants for example ozone is the example of secondary pollutants and second is PAN PAN uh, peroxyacetyl nitrate which is the example of secondary pollutants so in this class we discuss about different types of the air pollutants as well as the what are the reasons for the air pollution in next class we will discuss about what are the adverse effect of air pollution and how we prevent from how what are the strategies used for the control of the air pollution thank you